in 2012, I qualified through Q School to go play on the PGA Tour Canada, and I did that for an entire season. Over time, I started having a, a lot of trouble with my, my pivot or my turn into my right side. I even had some coaches that uh, were really frustrated with me because I wasn't able to do exactly what they were asking me to do. My pain was like a dull ache. It was probably like a, a three or four on a scale of 10 at like all times. Uh, and sometimes it would be as much as like a six or seven. Joe uh, was a 26-year-old professional golfer um, who developed uh, a lot of pain in his right hip. And so golfing and a lot of other sports require a lot of rotation on the hip. And so if the hip isn't quite perfect, then, then that's going to affect your ability to swing. It's going to affect your ability to um, you know, play around without having pain. I had some x-rays done and I had a, a slight hip deformation that didn't allow me to rotate into my right hip properly. And so in golf, you have to have a lot of internal hip rotation. And with all that repetitive use and having that limited range of motion, I was really putting a lot of stress on my hip and on my glute. This was affecting his, not only his recreational activity, but for Joe, because he was a professional golfer, it also was affecting his occupation as well. Most people don't understand that joint pain is actually in the groin and not in the, in the outside of their hip. Uh, I just still didn't believe that I had a hip issue. His MRI showed that he had a labral tear. Uh, and the labral tear you know, showed that he had significant damage inside his hip joint. Um, so he had hip arthroscopy surgery, uh, which basically involved you know, three portal incisions about the size of, uh, about the size of your fingertip. Uh, looked inside his hip joint. We identified the cartilage and labral tears. We sewed them back together, uh, removed the areas of kind of bony impingement on the acetabular side or the socket side of the joint, as well as on the ball side of the joint. I just don't have any lower back pain. I'm able to sit and I don't have any discomfort. I'm swinging um, more freely. I feel more flexible. I'm no longer competing as a professional, but I'll continue to compete on an amateur level, and this is going to allow me to still compete at a high level.